The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. Well, there's our old uh, workbench mat. Um, I need to get a new one because now it is literally a floor mat anyway. So uh, I decided to do a re-entry video, if you will, because I've decided to get back to going in on the channel and um, doing some stuff, but I haven't decided just yet what I'm doing. Although I did hear uh, Bardwell's little licorice thong snap when uh, I said welcome back. So what I want to talk to you guys about there's the hands that y'all get annoyed by, is um, we, uh, it's been a really busy year. I'm just kind of roaming around the garage here. Uh, been a really busy couple years actually um, with work and lots of projects and I had a new, kind of a new position crop up at work. Um, and so then we also decided to move. Uh, so I wanted to get a place that was indicative or, or um, useful for hobbies as well. My wife wanted a house in the country. My kids wanted more room, blah, 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 blah. So we got a house on a uh, competition ski lake. I'll show you all that in a minute. So I'm going to show you the new workshop. I have a three and a half car garage, basically. So if you walk out here, this is the back of the house or the roadside. There is about three miles of field or so all the way back. Goes on forever. And I'm very, very, very good friends with the guy who owns it. So I have all the flying room in the world. Um, next to me is nothing. That's a tennis court. Then the house way down there, three, three lots down is uh, actually a relative of mine. Um, so we have a pretty large area of nothingness, if you will. So you can see for flying quads, flying wings, flying planes, whatever the case may be, there's my Indian sitting outside, unfortunately, right now. There's the wife's garage I'm not allowed in. And this is mine, which is a 100% RC workshop. So the wife decided to do a uh, little painting the dog dish project. Anyway, um, this stuff's just some of my PA equipment, guitar equipment that I couldn't fit in my office. It's in the house. But I'm just going to give you a tour of the new workshop. So boats, 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 boats. These are all gas boats. Uh, that's a picture of my wife and I when we were dating. Just snuck back there. So these are fifth scale, fifth scale 30cc hydros or uh, gas boats. Jersey skiff, my Snoopy and Woodstock cracker box. Jersey skiff with uh, Jason from Friday 13th driving. 32cc uh, wave killer. Uh, hydros, hydros. Airboat. A uh, little rescue airboat that I've got for uh, chasing geese away more than anything. There's an electric hydro. Uh, this is one I built uh, last two years ago, a year and a half ago. This is my Red Baron Thunderboat, also a gasser, fifth scale, 30cc. This is my Albert Einstein, same exact model that I built. These are all wood kits, except for these two. These two are fiberglass hulls. I just bought the bare hulls and then did all the guts, the rest are all, even the hydros are wood um, that I built from laser cut kits. Uh, this is the latest one. I build a Cracker Box every year, uh, Cracker Box style boat, and this one is the Nintendo theme. There's Mario and uh, what's his name, Kirby. I 3D printed and airbrushed those guys and uh, put a little, some custom made decals I made on there. Uh, I build one of those every year because I beat them to death. And then we have an electric uh, rigger, another gas hydro uh, outrigger that has yet to be tested, built that last year. And then we have some electrics over here on the walls. The old gas car, you guys remember this guy? Um, he has been, I called him Big Muff, and he has been through many, many changes, probably since you have seen him last. He's running a 34cc with high-speed gears. Uh, pretty much everything on it is modified, uh, side mounted tune pipe, all that good stuff. My tugboats that I built uh, a while back just for fun, lipo charging station, um, lots of gear for building and uh, battery charging and parts and bits and bobs, transmitters. Uh, this is a little FE boat, electric boat, very, very fast that I built for my daughter. So she can run boats too, one of my daughters. Uh, nitro cars all up there, uh, all running Novorossi engines for the most part. 
a wing that uh, I have not flown yet, amazingly. Uh, and this is the workbench, just some of the, uh, the old Indian sign there. And this is the boat that I'm almost finished with. This is an electric wood kit. Another Thunderboat, but this one's electric. Um, I did all the paint and the decals, everything. Uh, just put a little bit of a Mardi Gras thing on here. That's for my buddy JJ Horvath, who's a good boating friend of mine. Uh, SoCo and Lime, because I used to be a big Hunter Proof Southern Comfort drinker. Not anymore. Um, and Spirit of New Orleans, you know, it turned out to be a pretty sharp boat. It's mostly done. Got to do the turn fin yet and a couple little odds and ends. But that one's an electric, but it's a large electric. The workbench that we're going to start doing videos on um, at some point. Soldering iron is mounted up there. The secret drape, there's all sorts of stuff behind there. Quads are up there. And I also have a whole box of quads up in the attic I haven't organized yet. And then obviously the massive toolboxes, RC toolbox, normal toolbox, it's about six feet high. And then we've got guitar and restringing. Uh, I got a walrus the other day at Hobby King. Thought that was gonna be kind of cool, Pow powered glider. Um, so I can take some cool videos around here, show you guys what's going on. Um, and then there's the plane that my good buddy in Ohio, I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, he had given me, it's a balsa skin build, but it's a scratch built kit that his dad built. And it's got the racing engine, nitro engine on it. Um, and it's a pylon racer. And my, he's a good friend of mine up in uh, back, back home in Ohio. And uh, his dad was in the Toledo Pylon Racing Club or something like that. And he passed away. And I guess he had like a barn full of these planes. And my buddy said, hey, I'd like you to have one. And he wanted me to bring it back to life and fly it. I did bring it back to life, but as you can see, I do not fly it because I fly like JJ Roto Geek and I would destroy it. So he has a permanent home in my shop overlooking. It's my good luck charm. Love that plane. My buddy Scotty in California made me this JJ Roto Geek wooden American flag sign. See that? Pretty cool. Another buddy of mine made me this laser cut one. I have a bunch of flags. So the beautiful part is um, obviously I'm a boat nut. We all know that. But you walk outside the door of my workshop and there's the lake. Uh, it's a third of a mile long. So it goes, I'm not going to walk down the hill because it just rained and I'll bust my big ass. It goes from that end over there that you can't see to an end over there. That's the ski jump where they do, uh, this, like I said, it's a competition ski lake. So they ski here during the week and sometimes have competitions. Um, it's a third of a mile long. It's a quarter of a mile from uh, island to island. There's a little mini island down there in the middle, middle ah, mini island down there, exactly a quarter of a mile, which is kind of neat. So I can time boats if I need to. Uh, my kid's trampoline, we have about an acre of a yard. Uh, it's massive. That's our well pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it was sticking out of the yard. So I 3D printed a lighthouse, um, a big lighthouse. It's pretty good size, as you can see. And uh, put a little solar light in. It's kind of cool, just for looks, to cover up the well pipe. So the moral of the story, wife's garage, the moral of the story is if I want to fly, I have three miles, actually more than that, of pure fields. If I want to do boats, I have my lake. And if I want to do my cars, I have a drag strip, dead end road. In front of my house, there's only eight houses on this lake. Um, high powered pond, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool. So it's very RC friendly here. So I'm going to start doing videos. I haven't decided what yet. I don't know if I'm going to be doing... I'm going to get back into quads. I owe my buddy Ken in Jersey quite a few quads. Actually, I promised him I would make a while back and then all my life got crazy. Um, but I'm never going to abandon boats, obviously. So, and I kind of want to get back into flying planes. So maybe it'll just be an all around RC channel. JJ Roto Geek, crazy toy house. I'm not really sure. So anyway, guys, and if there's any gals, I seriously doubt, um, that's it. And I'm going to start doing some mo movies here, videos, just general RC stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to specialize just in quads or anything else. But anyway, keep the shine side up. See you later, guys. Bye. Gangnam Star. Oh.